hey, this is the big hardcore gamer. Now, in Star Wars Jedi Survivor, there are some perks that will make you a stronger Jedi um, in combat. Now, the first one I found is actually found during an optional side mission um, on the planet um, Kobo. Now, this one is the Shatter perk, which will give you um, stronger attacks, um, making it easier to break an enemy's guard. Now, there is a Rancor which is um, protecting this perk. So in this video, I'm going to show you first of all how to find it and also give you some tips on how to defeat the Rancor because this enemy can kill you in one or two hits. Now, when you get to the part of um, Kobo, when you meet up with Mosey and she gives you instructions, uh, sorry, directions to the stables, you actually get in pretty close to the side mission. Now, um, I always um, go to the meditating spot um, you know where I find them just in case I get killed so so I don't have to trek back too far now you're going to want to talk to this prospector who will give you um uh, will tell you about a rumor maybe let's hear it some folks ventured into the mine just down yonder no one's heard from them since that's right little droid could be the makings of a tragedy most things on Kobo are prospectors were looking for priorite mine is chock full of the stuff but saving those folks, that's the important thing, of course. I'll look into it. Now we're in business. Mine is just down yonder, you can't miss it. Now, as you can see from the map, um, it's actually pretty close to the main objectives, but um, you might as well do this before you go in. Now, all the enemies leading up to the rank are actually pretty simple. Um, but, you know, I suggest watching this part of the video just so that you you don't miss out on anything because there are some force echoes and some other bits. Um, so it's definitely worth it's definitely worth exploring and not just heading straight to the main objective. But um, I will put a timestamp in. So if you... If you already know your way around and you just want to know how to defeat the Rancor, you can jump straight to it. Also, another thing I do around here, another thing I do um, through most of the game, actually, <laughs> especially since some of these um, enemies are hidden, um, when I come into a dark area, I actually push down on the right stick um, so that it will actually lock on to any um, any enemies that are, that are hidden. Like, like right there. Because those things will wait until you're right up close and then they'll pounce. So if it looks suspicious, push down the right stick, man. Let's see if it locks onto it. All right, so this is actually where you need to go. But um, I did turn back and go down the other area because there was a force echo down there as well. I'm still not fond of the map um, in this game, just like I wasn't in the in the first game. By the way, that little robot that just mooned me, um, I wasn't able to catch him. <laughs> Maybe when I come back, I'll be able to catch him. But yeah, um, head down this way. Yeah, I ran out of force power, so I couldn't I couldn't um, put him in. Uh, 
Okay, but now you have the um, echo for one of the prospectors. Okay, now head back to the, to the main path. Um, you're gonna need to go around the side because you, it's too far for you to jump. These creatures were killed by blaster fire. Yeah, this was the time that I actually forgot to push down the right stick to lock on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that suspicious thing um, in the corner, so I didn't do it. But I managed to block on time, so it was all good. And then do a little bit of shimmying over to the other side. Always check, listen. This is a game where you really need to explore um, each area to make sure you don't miss anything. Just like the first game was. By the way, on a side note, as you as you notice, I am using a purple lightsaber now. Obviously, the, I mean, the only reason why I would be using the purple lightsaber is because it's the same one that um, Samuel Jackson used in the prequel movies. <laughs> I actually want a red one. I actually want to go dark side on these fools, but but I can't, unfortunately. So purple will have to do. Right, and now we're pretty much we're, now we're coming up to the main fight. So through here is where you're gonna find the rancor, kind of and I think there's there's another echo round there as well for you to pick up. So make sure you do that. Yeah, the echo is to the left. Look at this rib cage. Think the Bedlam Raiders would pay for fossils? Oh, no. Now, definitely, definitely go to your meditation point. <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely do it at this point because you are not going to f you are not going to beat this rancor on the first attempt it's just not going to happen now as you can see it's still pretty early in the game so i've only got two stim um two sti uh, stim stops um available uh oh another thing um i actually found it easier to beat him with the double bladed lightsaber Like I said, I didn't do it on the first attempt, but I had to show this cool intro for the Rancor. Because, you know, once you um, try replaying the fight, it doesn't show the intro again. So I had to show this because this is a cool little intro. Right, now one thing um, about this game, when you die, uh, now in the previous game, um, your force would be locked to the enemy that killed you. But as you can see, it's there um just on the ground do not walk into it until you actually need to because when you do it will um restore your health so you can actually use it instead of using the stim stop now what i'm doing here um there are some attacks which i will block and there's some attacks which i will evade now this one that he's just done that is one that i will block okay um, because it's actually pretty simple to block but there is one that he does which I'm not sure I don't think it actually shows in this video where he actually stomps with his feet just dodge that one do not let him get close to you that one because I struggled to um, to find a parry window for it um, it is not easy 
Obviously, red attacks. Oh yeah, that uh, that attack as well is also a bitch to to block sometimes. Red attacks just avoid completely um, because it will be instant death. And whenever you can get behind him, just just go ham. Just get as many hits in as you can. Right now, you see, I'm almost dead because it, he caught me slipping. All right now, uh, I picked up my force, um, which revived all my health, replenished all my health, and then instantly got hit again, which took it back down again. So I'd use my last stem. You see, just blocking those. Once you get to about this point, it's it's over. Now watch the watch the flexing from Carl. Whoa, watch it. Watch, watch this. <laughs> the little rubbing his hand for there. Right. So um. Yeah. So there is your perk right there in the corner. And you'll need to go back to the meditation point to equip it. There's another one which I've picked up, which I might do a video for later as well. But yeah, that's basically my tips on how to beat the Rancor and how to find him in the first place. So if you found the video useful, please hit the like button and also share it with anyone else who might be struggling um, with this section. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and check out some other content. Um, I think I will be uploading some more Star Wars videos. Okay, see you next time. Bye.